Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so uh, this is going to be a Aries Sun, uh, Moon and Rising weekly tarot reading for a <clears throat> May 27th to uh, June 2nd, 2019. And just bear with me a second, guys, to uh, shuffle the tarot cards and we can go uh, straight away to the spread. Okay, so uh, the first card which represents the topic for Aries this week, that will be uh, the Two of Pentacles, followed by the second card which represents the uh, <clears throat> challenges that Aries will face throughout the week, that will be the um, Eight of Wands. The third card for Aries which represents the positive aspect of the week, that will be the uh, High Priestess. And the last one, which uh, is the guidance the tarot is giving to you, Aries, is that will be the Ace of Wands. So once again, it's the Two of Pentacles standing as a topic. Then uh, we do have the Eight of Wands, which stands as a um, challenges, followed by the um, High Priestess, which stands as a positive aspect. And the last one <clears throat> is to be the Ace of Wands, which represents the guidance the tarot is giving to you. Um, so from the first glance that I'm seeing here, uh, it's going to be a very uh, contradicting week uh, because uh, the week itself is going to be, uh, I would say, dappled with a lot of activities here and there. As a matter of fact, as I'm looking at these cards, many of your plans are going to undergo restructuring and, and changing, readopting, I would say, strategies and so on and so forth. And uh, some of these um, strategies are going to be rather uh, very productive. Others really are going to basically, uh, at least, uh, if not anything else, hold you down. So, um, which is going to work for you, we're going to see in a minute here. But uh, the first card, which is the topic itself, that will be the Two of Pentacles. So Two of Pentacles represents that throughout the week, you're going to be rather very playful. Okay, and you will have multiple things you to take care of. Uh, as, the, as the Two of Pentacles sits as a topic, it is important that you attend to all of them instead of prioritizing one over another. That is due to the fact that the Two of Pentacles stands for that nothing goes along or if you are aiming for maximum productivity, either in regards to your career or either in regards to your relationship, uh, if you try to move along with a, a well-established plan or a established plan with certainty, things are not going to go very well. I mean, you will have to be adaptive and playful. Uh, if you allow things to go or to unfold, not exactly on their own accord, you know, but you don't try to um, predict how things are to unfold unfold you know and um, make your plan based on that prediction but just go along for uh, day by day activities then uh, you are to see that um, every undertaking you're doing or every endeavor is going to unfold with much more 
ease from your behalf. What I'm trying to say here is, is that um, certain uh, concepts needs to be abandoned and instead, you know, you just have to take the situation as the situation is. In regards to your career or in regards to your relationship, the accompanied card here, that will be uh, the world. So the formation that we do have, it is a, uh, a passive supporters. And what the world adds as a shade to the Two of Pentacles is that these uh, minor changes, you know, and small opportunities are to be a prerequisite uh, for a, a new concept of your behalf, like a new concept for your marriage, a new concept for your relationship, or a, a, a new concept uh, for your uh, career, that is. The way I see that is that an important thing was finalized a little bit um, beforehand, what I mean is that in the past couple of weeks and now this week is a week where you are to uh, basically set up a, a new goal of yours the way I see these things. And that's why, you know, you have to let go of um, established concept uh, concepts, you know, and allow yourself to, uh, if you want to say experiment or just, you know, try out to see what works best for you. The next card, which is the challenges here, guys, that will be the Eight of uh, Wands. And the Eight of Wands is a challenge point that there are going to be way too many things for you to focus on. What I mean is that there are going to be way too much enterprises. So you will have to choose carefully which enterprise you are to involve yourself in. So that is the challenge itself. How you can overcome that challenge? Well, any enterprise that comes around, you know, and uh, gives you an opportunity for you to involve yourself into it, you will have to first scale it with clear-headed mind and to see is it beneficial or is it not beneficial instead of prematurely jumping into action. Uh, the accompanied card here, that will be the Six of Swords. <clears throat> and this just amplifies the risk. So you will have to be rather very, very careful when it comes to uh, involving yourself into endeavors that you have a little clue about. Uh, now, one thing is to let go of a uh, established concept. Another thing is just go blindfolded into something, all right? So just don't go into or don't um, involve yourself into activities throughout the week, which, um, you know, are looking very foggy, shady and... Uh, uncertain in uh, in regards to a future unfoldment or I would say do not take a risky endeavors. The next card which is the um, <clears throat> positive aspect of the week that will be the queen of uh, the uh, high priestess. So high priestess here points that throughout the week um, your intuition truly is going to guide you. So every, uh, whenever you feel that something doesn't smell right or something doesn't look right Whatever, whenever you feel that you shouldn't take a participation into certain enterprise, then you should not take a participation into certain enterprise. If you feel, you know, that uh, this thing is going to be a beneficial, for example, a gaining for one, a gaining for enterprise, then you will have to incorporate in yourself or kind of like involve yourself uh, <clears throat> in it. So the high priestess here points that you will uh, that you will be able to tap into the higher. I would say knowledge or rather like the higher purpose of those endeavors around you and uh, for sense, if I may express myself that way, toward what end or how those things are going to develop. And if you sense that something isn't quite right, like I said, you don't have to take a participation into it. The accompanied card that will be the, uh, the hangman. Here, the formation, it is a, uh, a passive supporters once again. And so what the hangman adds to the uh, high priestess is that um, it's never going to be too late. All right. Uh, it, the, these couple of um, <clears throat> cards are pointing that the right opportunity is going to come in the right time. And you will feel that everything is, is surrounding it, it is right to be there. I don't know how to describe it, you know, but let's say that you will have the hunch for the um for the opportunity that you will have to take on right with uh, the uh with the hangman additionally with these uh, couple of cards it does look like that whatever is going on very well throughout the week or you are bringing something that is going on very well from the previous week into this week is going to continue on developing in a, a rather um 
good fashion and uh, you are not going to suffer any turmoils into it so if you're if you are entering into the week with a, a well-established marriage for example you know and the marriage is going great then uh, with these couple of cards you may not expect that your marriage is going to uh, deteriorate suddenly for throughout the week and finally we have the guidance here that will be the ace of wands so as a guidance the ace of wands asks you to really take on this uh, gaining full enterprise that comes around but again that gaining full enterprise is going to be among many others and if you don't approach those opportunities with once again clear-headed minds being objective about their um, development then you may pick the wrong endeavor and that will be rather unpleasant if not anything else so how you can additionally recognize you know this gaining for enterprise well it will require from you to be innovative and to be creative as well it's not gonna it's not going to um, how can i place it um it's not going to be something that you already can uh, that you already have mastered all right that thing is going to allow you to grow even further either in regarding to your career or either in regarding to your uh, relationship as well the accompanied card here that will be the uh, seven of swords and the formation here it is a active friends and the seven of swords to the uh, ace of wands it does point that that will be a rock solid thing meaning that uh, should you start developing it it doesn't look like that anybody will be able to take what is yours okay and also uh, it seems that it's gonna serve a great purpose to you Aries is meaning that 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 the enterprise itself is going to be purely for your own personal benefit well it's going to benefit others as well you know but it's going to be something that you truly uh, really really would love to do and would love to be a part of so that being said guys this was your uh, weekly tarot reading for uh, may 27 to june 2nd 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and we're going to see each other uh, next time until then bye